Hello everyone, Bo here with another Rocky Metal Disciples podcast. This one is about the so-called National Metal Day. Now, National Metal Day, as far as I know, is just a clothing brand or company. But what I have about it is it's Metal Day, and like when it was actually last year, when it was actually Veterans Day, September 11th, 2011, People were actually going, you know, Happy National Metal Day and stuff like that. People actually, like, thought that was should be a legit, a legit holiday for metalheads and rockers everywhere. I have a question about that, though. Because why, of all days, is it Veterans Day in the United States? The second thing I have to say about it is why September... I mean, not September. Um, November 11th. Excuse me, I'm sorry about that. I mean, I meant November. November. My bad. Um, but why is it November 11th? That's just something I'm curious about, because that, I did, I mean, like, I don't see that as being, like, a logistical reason for it being a National Metal Day. Just besides, besides that point, why is it national? It shouldn't be national. It should be a worldwide holiday for recognized by metalheads and rockers everywhere. Even if it's not recognized by governments and organizations, it's still recognized by it's just this this metal day. Heavy metal day should be recognized by all metalheads and rockers everywhere. So I personally took some research and decided that perhaps we should make a heavy metal day. A heavy metal holiday. So, just to commemorate heavy metal all over the world, and all the people that love heavy metal all over the world, not just in the United States, and not just in England, but in other European countries such as Norway, and Switzerland, and Italy, and Sweden, and not just there, but Ukraine, and Russia, and India, and Japan, China, Brazil, Argentina, Chile, Puerto Rico, Mexico, Canada... Some, uh, you know, like, countries all around the world, you know, Egypt, Saudi Arabia, Iraq, Iran, you know, it's it's everywhere now. Uh, there's Israeli metal, yes, believe it or not, if you really look hard enough, you'll find Israeli metal. I was surprised about it myself at first, but then I thought to myself, you know, it might actually, it might, it's not actually a bad idea that they have it. But yeah, my point is, it shouldn't be just a national heavy metal day, it should be a worldwide holiday recognized by us. Now, the date for this, I think, should be not 11-11 of that year, of the year. It shouldn't be, it shouldn't be November 11th. I think it should be September 18th. And the reason for that is the first, by many, by the majority of the community, considers this day to be the first day that the first heavy metal album ever came out. We all know it as Paranoid by Black Sabbath. It came out officially on September 18, 1970 in the United Kingdom. I think that this makes sense because it was it's, t it's technically considered by many to be the first heavy metal album to come out. So what not what's not a better way to commemorate heavy metal by honoring it by having the anniversary or official holiday of heavy metal being on September 18th of any year. So, I believe that we should make our own holiday. And no, I don't think it should be a national metal day because national is implying that it's only on one certain area of the world. It's like the same thing with the baseball, with the World Series. It's not even the World Series to begin with. Country, it's like it's like saying the same. It's like the same kind of logic. It's like that's why I never said about the World Series with baseball. It's not even the World Series to begin with. There are no worldwide teams participating in the World Series. It's just two American teams, one from the major league, one from the American. No, I'm sorry, my bad. One from the National League, one from the American League going off against each other to see who wins the so-called World Series, even though 
it's not really a World Series. It's mostly a national series. I guess we just like to call it a World Series because that just seems to appeal to people more. But that technically doesn't make any sense because there are no, as I already said before, worldwide teams. So this is different, though. I feel as though there shouldn't be a national medal day. And even though this clothing looks cool as hell from the National Medal Day Facebook page, it still doesn't seem to make any sense that we should have it on November 11th. I don't understand why Veterans Day should be the day for metalheads everywhere. I again feel I again feel it's um I again feel that it should be September 18th. September 18th because September 18th again was the was the was the date that Black Sabbath's Paranoid came out. Black Sabbath Paranoid came out. Yep. And since it's been recognized by many to be the first official heavy metal album ever, what better way to commemorate heavy metal in all its epicness, glory, and we all know how epic, and we know, all know how awesome it is, and all the haters out there who think it's dumb, who think it's flame, you know what? Screw you guys. Even though I don't know why I'm saying that, I'm pretty sure people who don't like metal wouldn't even be listening to this. And I just don't understand why they should not like it to begin with. Heavy metal has always been an awesome thing. I mean, sure, it's an acquired taste. Don't get me wrong here. But then it really pisses me off when it's like those people out there who don't even know what the hell they're talking about and they're going like, you don't understand what they're even saying as if, as if all metal to begin with was death metal or black metal or a metalcore thing or screamo or whatever. Not to mention that all vocals are not even screamo to begin with. Some are screamo, some are melodic, some are growl, guttural, and you got your clean vocals too, like in power metal bands and some thrash and mostly thrash metal bands and folk metal bands. You got the clean vocals too. I don't understand why people just can't get through their heads. Why, you know, we're supposed to be taught that stereotyping is wrong, and yet we still constantly, as a species, do it. It's like, what's the point of even trying to lecture to people that stereotyping is wrong when it doesn't seem to get through to people's heads that it is wrong, and, you know, they just don't think about it, they don't consider it, because... They don't know anything about what they don't know. So they'll take one thing, or one example of something, and then just generally assume, without bothering to research, or bothering to ask any other people who are experts in a field, or who are, maybe they know someone personally who's like that, you know, they won't bother to ask them that, and there you go. Anyway, back to this heavy metal day. I, w I just wanted to take that into consideration. I think that... If we all, um, we should all try to get together and make Heavy Metal Day be September 18th of every single year. Because that should be our holiday, September 18th. And I think it's supposed to be special for us because that's the day that Black Sabbath's, Black Sabbath's song came out. So, again, I'm repeating myself, and sorry about that, but yeah. Alright, take care, folks. Peace.